Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is take two of this video because I messed up take one so badly. <laughs> this is Mr. VG. How are you all doing today? I'm in this video going to do a set of questions based on some theory you need to know for grade 10 algebra. Okay. Now, in this specific question, we are going to look at some concepts that's very important for grade 11 and 12. And the examiner specifically wanted to test whether the students know the concepts for future reference. So I want you to just quickly say true, false, true, false for these questions. When I look at question 4a, and I've got the square root of x undefined for x smaller than naught. Well, let's talk about, again, the concept of undefined. At the moment, undefined is for you only when I'm dividing by zero. Okay? When I look at the expression root of x, there is no over x. Okay? So there's no denominator. So... But let's look at what are they telling me that I've got the square root of a negative number. Well, that's not undefined. That is just non-real. Please get the difference in the definitions, okay, or the difference in meanings. The root of a negative number, it's not that it is undefined. It's just not real. It's just not used everyday life for you and me. It doesn't go against the definition. There is a whole world out there for imaginary numbers that actually uses the root of negatives. But nowhere in the maths world do we, can we divide by a zero. Maybe one day some person will find a spot in the maths world where we can divide by zero. But we haven't found that. Okay? So it goes against the definition of all the maths that we know. So is the root of x undefined when I've got smaller than naught? No. So this is false. Please be careful, especially in grade 11 and 12. We are going to throw you with these questions. Is it non-real? Is it undefined? You've got to know the difference. Okay. Let's look at the second question, question 4b. The cube root of x plus 1 is irrational if x is equal to 8. Well, for me to look at irrational, I've got to first look at rational. What is the definition of a rational number? Well, a rational number is a number that can be written as a over b, so in fraction form, where a and b are integers. So in other words, where a and b are numbers like negative 3, 2, 5, but b cannot be 0. Because again, then I've got undefined, which I don't want. Okay? But let's substitute that 8 in and let's see what I am left with. So if I look at this, ladies and gents, I've got the cube root of 9 because it's 8 plus 1. Now the value of that is 2, 0, 8, 0, 0, 8, 3, 8, dot, dot, dot. Do you see a pattern behind the comma? Okay, let's just... Go back a little bit. First of all, is it a finite or infinite finite or infinite decimal? It's an infinite decimal because that comma there's no stopping behind that decimals. Second question: Is there a pattern then in the infinite decimals? No, there's no recurring decimals. So therefore, because there is no pattern after the comma, okay, there's no 0, 8, 0, 8, 0, 8, 0, 8, then the cube root of 
9 is irrational. If there was a pattern, it would have been rational. Then we could have converted this from a decimal number into a fraction form. Okay? Now let's look at the C part. Now this goes over to graphs. What kind of a graph is this? Well, it is an exponential. It's a very special exponential which lies above the asymptote because it's positive. The 3 says it goes away from the asymptote. We'll talk about that in a further video later on. And the negative 2 is my asymptote. Oh, but wait. Look at the rest of the question. The rest of the question says that y equal to 2 is the asymptote. Oh, that's not right. That's false. y equal to negative 2 is the asymptote. You have to know your theory, ladies and gentlemen, for you to do mathematics. So please tune in in our next video. We're going to go into graphs into a lot more detail. So this is Mr. VG signing out. Cheers.